Good afternoon, how's everybody doing? Good afternoon. Uh, it's been a long day, so uh, keeping in respect of your time, uh, Justin's asking me to kind of keep it short, definitely gonna watch by that. Um, so I'm here, I'm CJ Copeland, um, I serve as your, uh, the chair of the 5th Congressional District, and I have the um, honor of nominating Justin Olson back for Secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Uh, during my time in involvement with the state party, I've served in many offices such as President of Young Democrats of Atlanta, uh, as well as, like I said, Chair of the Fifth. And during my many roles with the state party, I uh, witnessed firsthand Justin's um, tenacity and, and him putting himself out there for the state party in different roles. And to me, that speaks volumes. Because, you know, the old saying is, the best predictor of the future is the past. And from what I've seen from Justin, he puts in the work uh, year in and year out. Uh, recently, I had the honor of managing an amazing race by an amazing woman, Sarah Ruiz Amico. And the funny thing is, as everybody said, we have 159 counties, and we have to go to those counties several times. And throughout that race, there were numerous times I've lost count of how many times Justin volunteered. He popped up from different counties, down in South Georgia, up in North Georgia, and it got to the point where I thought I was going to cut him a check because he that's just how much time he put into the race. <laughs> so, I mean, to me, that speaks volumes. I mean, he never asked for a dime. And so, as I said before, I can only go off of what I've seen in the past, and what I've seen from Justin is he's a hard worker and very de dedicated to the state party. And so, with that, I nominate Justin Holson back for Secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Thank you. So much for being here. This has been a long day and y'all are toughing it out. I appreciate it. My name is Rachel Pauley. I'm president of the Young Democrats of Cobb County, Metro Atlanta Regional Director for the Young Democrats of Georgia and candidate for the next president of that same organization. I'm proud to second TJ's nomination for Justin for Secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia. As an enthusiastic and effective member of the Young Democrats, Justin has proven the critical importance of including the voice of young people in our party from the local to the national level. Please join me in supporting him for secretary. Thanks. Good afternoon. Um, as TJ mentioned, I asked my nominator and secretary to keep it short. It is 4.30, at 4.30, so I want us to go home at some point today. Um, I want to first of all say thank you to those um, and to the rest of the leadership of the state party and going out, going, what have you. I showed up in 2016 as a fresh-faced candidate for um, uh, State House in District 34 and Kennesaw and Marietta, and the state party welcomed me. I had no idea what I was doing, and the state party helped me every step of the way. So I want to say thank you to Bose and the rest of the leadership team. I also want to take a second to say thank you to the people that helped this campaign uh, for DPG Secretary. Rachel, uh, Jalen Scott, Jen Rapanen, Al Turnell, Maria Banjo, Valerie Bernhardt, Michael Owens, and TJ Copeland. I could not have gotten to this point. Um, without you guys and your support. Um, so as I said, I ran for office in, uh, in 2016 for State House for Kennesaw and Marietta. Got around 40% of the vote um, and did not leave the party from there. Ran for the secretary position for the Cobb County Committee. Was elected to that position in 2016 alongside uh, Michael Owens as the chair of the Cobb County Committee. Jackie Adair as the vice chair. Copley Pendergrass as the second vice and Marie Green as the treasurer. And we came together as a group to build on the success that the state, uh, that the county committee had already seen over the last decade, long before I showed up and got to work in politics. And we were expecting, as we headed into January of 2017, to have about 150 people show up. We knew that we were going to have a huge uptick in people showing up because of the Donald Trump election results. What happened was, you guys might have heard a guy named John Ossoff ran in CD6, which clips Cobb County pretty considerably. So we went from 150 people, please do not tell the fire marshal, but we had four, over 400 people show up to that meeting. <laughs> and it was my job as the secretary to process those members, get them plugged into the organization, make sure they were on email lists, contact with the people for subcommittees. All of that type of work, which is very similar to what the bylaws delineate for this position with DPG. Um, I am proud to say that my former boss, Michael Owens, has supported my campaign for this. I guess he thinks I did a good job. Um, but from there, I have stayed involved with the Young Democrats organizations as, my, as the people that spoke before me have sta uh, stated. I currently serve as the Young Democrats of America Finance Director for the national organization. We've raised almost a million dollars, or over half a million dollars 
over the last few years for both campaigns that I work for as well as that organization, and I'm also the Young Democrats of Georgia National Committee man. So why do I want to be the secretary? Um, there are three things that I have emailed to you and called almost every single person in this room that's wearing a name badge right now to say um, I've given metrics. I manage uh, the Southeast Territory for a Fortune 500 company. I have a lot of people that work underneath me. Um, what I set are goals with metrics to achieve them. So the first one is the bylaws. The bylaws allow up to 14 or 30 days, depending on which meeting we're talking about, for the meeting minutes to get out to you. I pledge that they will get to you in an actionable state to where you can know what was discussed, how it was discussed, and what was decided upon within three business days. Second piece is to make sure that our membership list, both email and physical mailing lists, are maintained and audited at least quarterly, working with the DPG staff to make sure that we are getting meeting um, notifications out, obviously according to our bylaws, but if possible and whenever possible, and this should be the goal, not the exception, at least six to 12 months before the meeting. So as others have stated, we can ensure that we have quorum and the making meeting where we were trying to do bylaw revisions does not repeat itself. Um, and then finally, doing systems updates, um, making sure that our data is secure but also accessible. I am from Metro Atlanta, but there are many people in this room that I have worked directly with on campaigns that aren't from Metro Atlanta. You should have this exact same ability to access the resources of this state party that I have as a resident of this area. And we need to make sure that we have a commitment to where whenever we have a coordinated campaign, it is truly coordinated with our rural districts and our rural county committees. I have seen campaigns that I've worked for lose races because their local county committees were not as strong as they could be. If we have good local uh, uh, county committee support, we can have precinct captains and we can get to work flipping these precincts, flipping these seats. So I, I want to talk about one last piece that I don't like to harp on this, but I also think it's important. Um, over the next few cycles, the voting demographics in the state, the millennials are going to, I hope, start showing up to the polls in greater numbers. Um, that's the work that we are working on with the Young Democrats of Georgia and the Young Democrats of America. And I think it would be important to have someone on this board, on, in this organization, with this type of position, with that perspective, especially in a role that is this dedicated to communications. If we don't bring that group and that community to the table, it's going to be a long time before we can truly say that this state is flip blue. But we are a battleground state. I'm ready to work with you all, should you choose to uh, send your vote my way. I'm Justin Holsenbeck. No matter what happens, I'm sticking around, but I would love to serve as your secretary for the next four years. Thank you.